What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Hmm. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um, I actually didn't look at the flash drive too much. I've been pretty busy. No, I've been way too busy with class. Taking selfies. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. What? Let's go with this. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Hmm, I'm... I should probably tell him about the day I had. It was just awful. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch. Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Coffee. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's me! Nobody! <laughs> This guy is fucking crazy. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, 
How do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Hmm. Sounds like we had a serious falling out. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Actually, I do use excuses all the time. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. in don't be shy the house still looks nice home shit home <laughs> my room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it it's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while oh. we medicate. Oops, I did not want to do that. It won't play without any power. Let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia.
We had such a blast drawing these together. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Where the hell are her CDs? Oh, this is a flashback to you. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? I don't feel grown-up, just more confused as I get older. Especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. About me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. All right, well, maybe the tone of this conversation will get better as I... as I put on some music. There we go. Hopefully this is a good band. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She can not wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia, without a word, without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel gone. Can you put on some music now? Seems like this is a really intertwined town. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Oops. Whoa, 
dark. I cannot see anything. I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. 